Hello, 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 hello. What's up? Can, am I heard? Can people hear me? Oh yeah, no, you can. Okay, cool. So hello everyone. It is Thursday already. I am your one M Marissa. And I'm your other M Mora trying to work the board. Let's get this done. So if um, it seems like I'm inside Mora's hair today, it's because I am. <laughs> uh, one of the mics uh, is uh, broken, so I'm just going to be over here. So we're just doing our thing. Um, also, no sound bites today. I know that's everyone's favorite. Um, I know. But also a thing that we cannot achieve. But we are here. We are talking. We are ready. And we're going to give you what you need to know. Maura, start us off. All right. So today we're going to start with some TV. So Dancing with the Stars, season 22, March 21st. 22 already. I know. Isn't that crazy? That's I remember insane. when it first came out. Me and too. And I was like, oh, this is a cool show. <laughs> um, but so they have some people. Uh, Mishka Barton, who is my bae from the OC. I love mm. her so much. She is um, signed on to be a star. Uh, Jody Sweeten from Ooh, nice. Fuller House, which is really cool because in Fuller House, they show like clips of her dancing and she's actually really good. That's awesome. So I was like, okay, you go girl. Yeah, fingers crossed that she might win. Um, and then also, uh, the last winner of America's Next Top Mile, <laughs> America's Mile? Next Top Model. Ooh. Um, his name is Niall. He's deaf, but he will also right, be a right, contestant. Right. <gasps> yes. Yeah, he's hot. He is so hot. He's very. And he used all that fame to really raise awareness of like how people with disabilities are treated and just like shout out to the deaf community. Yeah. Like that like was really awesome. Serious props to him. Yeah. That was really great. However, Derek Koff is leaving. No. I know, which is like upset because that's the only reason I watch the show. He is so amazingly good. He's so amazingly hot. But also talented. <laughs> like, I remember one season I watched, and he was in love with his partner. Mm. And they, like, went um, and practiced, like, in a pool. And I was like, okay, Derekov, like, you obviously just want this girl in a bikini. Yeah, honestly. Um, But no so he's day. leaving. He's going to be in the... He's... Nah, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So what are you saying? He's going to be a part of the Broadway musical Singing in the Rain. Oh, that's good. Um, So, like, go you... But you will be dearly missed. However, they're bringing back Len Goodman, who's the old man judge. So, oh like, no. they're bringing him back, hoping that, like, people will be, like, happy. Like, oh, we're losing Derek, but, but we like, have we're Len. getting Len right, again. Right, right, So that's good. Um, I haven't watched the show in a really long time. Mm -hmm. My mom and I used to watch it together. Mm -hmm. But then, like, some person that she liked got kicked off instead of someone who was really bad. So she was like, we're boycotting this. And I was like okay i guess yeah right um but nikki d brady she loves this show oh nikki loves d loves it and so like she is excited about it so if you are a lover of dancing with the stars i think you should be excited yeah um also tell nikki d about it yeah talk to nikki d about it yeah if you have more information about it tweet at us so we know yeah mm mm midday mm mm midday yeah like let us know what's up exactly all right this is really upsetting that i don't have any sound bites because i was gonna play the fuller house theme song for you right now starring Ooh. our girl carly ray jepson carly ray. um but yeah so obviously it came out last friday on netflix and it's had it has already been renewed for season two that's like how good the feedback was for it so that's pretty awesome like, already wow i know that's crazy um so the story itself it follows dj who's played by candace cameron bure mm. and um so she's like back in the house and everyone is there and you think that like everyone's gonna stay in the house together but it ends up it's just candace and her kids it's stephanie and then it's kimmy and her daughter and they stephanie and kimmy and her daughter all move into the house to live with candace mm -hmm. um and so it's just like a story following them and it's cute um for me personally like the first episode i was just like eh but you have to get past the first episode and it gets better i feel like so. that's what always happens with a lot of things first episode i was like that way with um uh, making a murder yes i thought the first episode was eh and then you watch more and you're like oh okay exactly and then you get hooked yeah so it was it's cute i like it yeah um steve still looks hot i know he looks good and i'm like okay bae you do you you do you every girl's crush seriously though starting at age three <laughs> was yes. always him um so the story and the story itself it follows full house in like certain aspects like 
certain little things make you like remember Full House. Mm-hmm. Like when Kimmy and her daughter move in, then um, DJ's sons have to share a room. So it's like, you know, when DJ, Stephanie, all of them had to share a room, so on and so forth. Yeah. Exactly. And then um, they do make some subtle hints to Mary Kate and Ashley, though, <laughs> in the show. You know, they're or not so subtle. Yeah, not so <laughs> subtle, actually. Um, but I wonder if, like, since it's been renewed for season two and since it was, like, such a good mm-hmm. feedback, Maybe if they'll, they'll come. yeah, if they'll come. But the thing is, like, it was one thing when they were little and looked ex- exactly the same, but only one of them can come back now. Yeah. Like, I don't think they still look the same. No, I think that there's, they look similar. But they're they're not exactly the same anymore because exactly. one of them has a different hair color, one of them has a different hair length. Yeah, one's and then thinner than the other. Exactly, one is thinner. Like, so I don't think that they could both come back. I think it would have to be one of them. Yeah, well then like, how do you choose which one? Exactly. <laughs> All right, you have to audition for the role that you already played. The role that made you you. Exactly. You now have to. Which one was it really? Who really yeah. made it happen? So I know I'm excited for season two. I don't know. I wasn't, like, super excited for season one. I personally really dislike Candace Cameron Bure. I watch her on The View all the time, and she kind of just annoys me. So I was like, bleh. I, I think don't she like her. was way... I liked her a lot more when she was younger. Mm-hmm. Um, and even, like, when she was, like, older, like, going, like, the college age, too. Like, I still liked her then. Yeah. And now she's just... She's kind of like, you know she's how, like... She's shoving Jesus down our throats every five seconds. Yeah. It's kind of just like watching that mom on... Like, just, like, talk. And yeah. But like, but like, you want to love her because you did once, but now you know things about her. Exactly. And you're like, oh man. Oh darn. <laughs> Crap. But I can't. So I'm excited for season two. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I like that it's like also its own show too. Exactly. Which is really good. Yeah. So just like writing the coattails uh, of what House. once was. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, America's Next Top Model. Want to be on top? Uh, thank you, because that was the soundbite I was gonna play. Yes. America's Next Top Model is back. Um, five months it? after it announced that it was done, yeah. it said, just kidding, we're <laughs> coming back. It's going to be on VH1 now, but okay. um, Tyra's not coming back. What? She's still going to be the executive producer, but she will not be the host. Who's going to host? Which, like, makes sense. Like, she just had a baby, so, like, Word. got to take care of that. It's probably um, But, yeah, I'm not sure. They don't have, like, any set judges or anything yet, but the last winner, Niall, mm. he was, like, kind of upset he was like well i wanted to be the last winner like i don't want anyone else to win i, I wanted to be you. the last one I feel my you. thing is like is it gonna be like america's next top model season one again since it's like redoing it or right, is it now gonna be season 23 because it's, it's also on a different like network exactly it's not on the cw anymore so, so like, i'm not sure how they're gonna do that i know that i'm gonna watch i freaking love that show maybe there's gonna be like, a, like a, a twist to it that makes it new that's true i don't know i always wanted them to do like um, all plus size models. That would be amazing. You know, they did like short girls one time. Yeah. They did girls and boys. I'm like, give me some plus size models. That would be fabulous. Who can we contact? Do you, at VH1. At um. VH1. <laughs> I hope you're listening. I'm sure you're our two, one of our two viewers. Oh, wow. Why is no one viewing? <laughs> yeah, so why sad. is no one watching? I'm sure you're one of our two viewers. Um, please make it all plus size models. Please I will try out. And thank you. All right. And lastly, um, you know, there wasn't too much crazy stuff going on in TV this week, so I just thought I would uh, give you some news on, like, cancellations and shows that got renewed. So Finding Carter on MTV was unfortunately canceled. I uh, I personally didn't watch the show, but I knew a lot of people who did, and they liked it. Yeah, there was, like, a lot of drama happening. Yeah, so, but that unfortunately has been canceled. No, I didn't know Um, So has Best Time Ever with Neil Patrick Harris, which that makes me sad because I love Neil Patrick Harris. I know, so I. It's like, why? Why? No. Um, More episodes of Dance Moms has been ordered. Thank Jesus. I freaking love that show. That show kills me. It's so bad, but I I love it so much. My dad makes fun of me for watching it. Um, I can't watch it. It literally gives me Ajna. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I physically cannot watch that show. It's awesome. Um, Younger, which is an another amazing show. It's on TV Land. It stars Sutton, uh, now Lenore, um, but also known as Sutton Foster, who's a Broadway star. She's in it. It's so good. You should watch it if you haven't, but it has been renewed as well for a third season. So I'm like, Is Hallelujah. that the one with Hilary Duff? Yes. Hilary oh, Duff yes. is in it too. It's fabulous. I love it so much. 
And then The Royals, which is also another show that I watch, has I been like renewed. I the Royals. I love The Royals. I love anything that's like kings, queens, British people. Yeah, I like that too. I also like how like it is in no way actually what The Royals are like. Oh yeah, no Queen way. Queen Elizabeth is roughly 400 and the queen <laughs> in this show is like... She's like 22. Yeah, and like her kids are also like 22. No, the best part about this show though is that Prince Liam, shout out to my little bro who's named yes. Liam, but Prince Liam is the guy from... Lime Witch in the Wardrobe, Narnia. Yes, and I'm like, is. dang, you look good, You boy. aged so well. Exactly. I'm waiting to also age as well as you <laughs> exactly. did. Exactly. <laughs> I'm ready to look like that. <laughs> 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 all right. So that's all we have for TV. You know, if you want us to talk about something, tweet at us because obviously I struggled a little bit this week. <laughs> um, so I need your help. I need... I need support and I need you to tell me what you want us to talk about because we're here for you. That's the only reason we do this show. Exactly. Not and for also us. So Mike Demurgis will give us an A. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. It's hard to feel sorry for him. We take a beating every show. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate the USFL's 25th anniversary with the